Hi everyone, this is Sybil. Guess what I did? I went to Tuesday morning, even though the other day in my last video or whatever video it was, I said, you know, I wasn't gonna go craft shopping because I've been on a spending free since the middle of December. And um, with my husband being laid off, but keep praying because something is in the works and that's all I can say, but please, please keep praying. A couple of things, if this one job doesn't actually work out, it's going in that direction. It's looking good so far. Um, he's had a few interviews um, and if that doesn't work out, he has something else that he can do for a job until the job he was laid off from starts back up. So, I mean, that's what it's looking like. So it's looking pretty good. And of course, you know, we have money in our bank to live on and he's getting unemployment. But I just, I'm, I tend to be more frugal, especially when my husband is not working. And I'm not working because of, you know, health reasons and everything. Usually when he's been unemployed, I've been working. But, um, yeah, so anyway, he went to Harbor Freight. He's outside, by the way. If you hear some noise in the background, he is working on uh, some Husqvarna um, lawn mowers, push mowers that he has. He plans on selling those. He had purchased a riding mower recently, um, a while back, and... So he has three, I think they're all three, Huxvarna mowers, and they're in good condition because he purchased one when he was in North Carolina because he needed to mow that lawn. So that mower is, you know, just a few months old. And then um, we had one, and then he got, like, another one. So he's going to just get those in tip-top shape and sell those because he does. we don't need four lawn mowers, you know. Anyway, so... He also sold a couch um, that he'd had from the other place, and we got our income tax money. Thank you, Lord. That came back in. So, I mean, it's not like I went nuts or anything, but our Tuesday morning where I live, um, the one that's closest to me is about 45 minutes away from me in Springfield, Missouri. And it has not been a very good Tuesday morning. They did um, open in a new building about a year ago, a little over a year ago. And we went there and oh my goodness, it was just nasty. You could not tell that it was a new building. The place smelled bad. Um, there was dirt on the floor. There was like litter on the floor. And they didn't have things... Uh, they didn't have things nice and neat in the store. A lot of it was just thrown in piles. So it was like, oh my gosh. And so I said, you know, it's been over a year. Let's go check it out. Um, there's a few things I want to see. Um, if they have those items, I would like to pick them up. So we went over there. We were so surprised. We walked in. There was no bad odor. The, the store looked so nice I don't know if it, new management took over. That's what we're kind of thinking. It was really in good condition. Um, like you walk up and down the aisles, there was no junk in the aisles like before. And um, the staff was real friendly and helpful. And um, everything was just nice and neat. And I walked over to the scrap section, the craft section, and I was shocked. It was all nice and neat, you know, hanging on the little hangers on the shelves. And so, yeah, I jumped in and picked up a few things. And so I'm going to share that with you. And then I also picked up a few items at Hobby Lobby. I got everything on sale. Of course, both places, everything's on sale at Tuesday morning. But I picked up this stapler because my husband uses my other little stapler. And so I told him he could have that and I'll get this one because besides, you know, it's got colored staples. I picked up this um, DCWV washi stack. I don't know why they're calling it washi because it's, you know, it's just, well, I got it upside down. Metallic stack. I don't, like I said, I don't know why they say washi, but yeah, 
Does it stick? <laughs> Maybe it does. I don't know. Washi tape, it says it is. But I plan on, you know, cutting out um, things for, you know, embellishments and everything. So that's why I got that. I picked up the My Mind's Eye Blush Embellishment Pack. And then all of this is Maggie Holmes because I love her stuff. Um, so I picked up the stamp set and I have not been watching Tuesday morning videos. I haven't watched any Tuesday morning videos and I cannot tell you how long because our Tuesday morning pretty much, you know, was uh -uh. So I didn't want to watch them and see what I couldn't get at mine. <laughs> but now I can watch them. So I got this beautiful stamp set. There's a bow back here and it says, remember this, happy heart, magical moments. You guys have probably all seen these in other Tuesday morning hauls. I got the little hearts because they're so darn cute. This was what I was super thrilled with, her sticker pack here for planners, but also to make, you know, my own um, things for embellishments and everything like that. I just love this. Plus it'll be beautiful in my planners as well. And then I picked up these six cards from the carousel. So, so pretty. Now, I've been making, and I want to share with you guys some more uh, memory decks, but I've been creating uh, Maggie Home embellishment um, things and memory decks um, cards. And I've done a lot with the bloom and then Amber, Lyric Lover, 810 she gave me a paper pad and some happy mail and I've been using those and so I've been making you know I'll share with it share with you guys in a video coming up soon but so I only have a few sheets left of my bloom paper pad that I've had in my stash forever um, and I love it so I was thrilled to find one of these and I got the last carousel now I have carousel stickers and ephemera and all that that I purchased, I think, from scrapbook.com. Um, and um, so I was thrilled because I did not have the paper pad. And then I got her thickers. Is it, are these her thickers or not? These might not be Maggie Holmes, but anyway, I thought these were so cute. Look at the bunny and the teacups and just lots of cute stuff. To create with so see I didn't go nuts um, so I got that really happy I will use all of that and then I went to Hobby Lobby and like I said everything was on sale um, I got these pom-poms for my DIY embellishments I've been having so much fun, you guys, playing with paper, glue, and scissors. Yeah. So I got some sequin um, trim and some gold thread. All of the sequin, all of the trim was 50% off. I got crepe paper. And then all of these were on sale as well. So because I'm, you know, making memory decks cards for people, I feel like I'm yelling. Because I'm competing with the drill outside my window. Um, but So I apologize if I've been so loud. But um, all of the stickers were on sale. And the Paper Studio stickers were on sale 40% off. But I've been running out of some of my letters. Because I've been making uh, personalized memory decks cards. So I've got a couple of those. Rose gold. This I just had to have because it's adorable. I thought for my planners. So cute. And then this, and that was it. See, I did not do much damage. I have not shopped hmm, since the middle of December. So I did not do bad. And my pocketbook has not suffered. <laughs> and I don't feel bad that I, you know, got myself a little something. So there we go. And um, I got some cards 
I got some cards, I received some cards in the mail, and also a package, so I will share that soon with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Sorry for rambling on so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.